About two-thirds of our planet are covered in water. In this vast and largely unexplored habitat, marine microbiology focuses on the smallest forms of life, microbes. Creatures that you cannot even see without a microscope, but which do incredible things. For example, surviving in the darkness of the deep sea with the help of poisonous gases. But how do they do it? To shed light into the dark, we dive into the deep sea. After just 200 meters, daylight begins to fade. We've reached 3,000 meters. It is totally dark. Most of the deep sea looks like a hostile desert. But what is that? A whole underwater commune with various sea creatures is having a good time down here. Tube worms, crabs, starfish, clams, and even some fish. They all live on bacteria that have nested here. For example, under the skin of the tube worm and in the gills of the mussels. These specialized microbes can generate energy and nutrients using hydrogen sulfide that rises from vents on the sea floor, so-called black smokers. This is how they feed their hosts, for example mussels. The host animals collect the necessary oxygen and hydrogen sulfide from the surrounding water with their gills. This form of energy generation is called chemosynthesis, comparable with photosynthesis. But without any sunlight, it forms the basis of a large, branched food chain. The rich habitats of black smokers were only discovered a few decades ago. Along the mid-ocean ridge, an earth-spanning mountain range in the deep sea, black smokers are the only source of energy to be found. No wonder that the biotopes that form around black smokers are densely populated. Life on them is just as lush as in the rainforest. The discovery of these sort of underwater oases in the deep sea was a scientific sensation. The surprise was all the greater when such symbiosis were found right on our doorstep. They are found in the North and Baltic seas as well as in the Mediterranean and many other places. In the coastal sediments of the Italian island of Elba, for example, bacteria live together with tiny worms. By means of chemosynthesis, the bacteria supply them with so many nutrients that neither mouse nor intestines are needed. There are more than 100 different types of worms around the world that have teamed up with bacterial lodgers. A look into the world of the smallest things shows that microorganisms achieve extraordinary things in the deep sea as well as on the ocean shores. And the history of these unusual symbioses also shows us how much there still is to discover.